Um, as Dr. Tangadurai uh, introduced, um, I run an organization named uh, FastEdge.ai. Uh, we are based in the United States and we also uh, have offices uh, in uh, India, uh, Bangalore uh, and, and Chennai. Um, and uh, what we do is we bring uh, educational platforms uh, which are powered by newer technologies like artificial intelligence and so on and so forth uh, to schools and potentially uh, to students as to as a way to improve uh, learning in this post pandemic world. So let me first start off on the macro trend and let me show you a quick video of what people are saying, uh, especially around uh, technology's potential for transforming education. Listen, see, take a look at this video. Uh, sir, I'd just like to add, if there is an audio to this video, we are not able to hear that. So what, is, what does this video tell us? Economist Magazine has done a deep uh, research about what technology is doing for, to transform education. Some of the lessons learned, uh, and, and this is a combination of what we are finding and what Economist Magazine has uh, identified as well. Teachers in schools have started innovating around the technology. They leverage the, you know, these conferencing platforms that initially built for uh, video conferencing for education. Now they support remote learning and one-on-one -on -one type learning platforms. Online assessment, which I think you already know what that is. And a new paradigm of teaching has emerged. Uh, teach students through stories and gaming. Uh, I have put together a, a snippet from a, a, a company called the Synthesis.is. It is a company that was supported by Elon Musk. I'm, I'm sure most of you know who Elon Musk is. And he uh, tried to create an educational uh, mechanism uh, where students are uh, challenged to innovate as opposed to purely learn, right? So here is a, a gaming technology-based uh, learning paradigm. And, and there are other schools that I've seen in the United States, even in India as well, is to take open air as a, a way of conducting classes. So teachers in school innovate around the technology. Now they started offering blended learning and personalized learning. I'll get into more of this, what blended learning and personal learnings are in a second. I don't have to tell you about the challenges you all face. Um, you know, students phase out um, in Zoom sessions, emotional setbacks. We heard from other speakers on the call, especially around term one. But what I have seen, what I've heard is questions were out of the syllabus. It's very complex, it's too difficult. The bottom line is students feel this uh, degree of uh, um, uh, anxiety, stress, fear. What happened in term one is going to come to term two. What are we going to do? That's why we see such a you know, great number of audience in this speech uh, or in this discussion today. And teachers, uh, you know, they have their own challenges. They themselves have to learn new technologies. They have uh, difficulty uh, learning, uh, understanding how well students are learning in a classroom given a remote or a digital environment. So such a set of challenges have put enormous burden on schools and teachers alike. I wanna show you one more video. And this is about how the new technologies are emerging, where the education is headed. And this is again, a point to the macro level. Please take a quick watch.
Uh, Mr. Paneer, we are not getting the audio of uh, somewhere, the audio part. So the message from that video is uh, the learners, the students, they all learn at a different pace, right? Learning goes personal, learning goes adaptive, learning happens on any, on any device, at any time, uh, uh, at any place. So the education never stops. You know, I've been through my education system. I continue to learn every single day, we all do. So how does, how does all these technologies enable our students to help uh, do better? What we think is a methodology, as Bill Gates said, and somebody pointed out at the beginning of the, of the talk, is technology uh, is not everything, right? It's just an enabler, right? It's the teachers who do uh, the, the brilliant um, uh, task of uh, bringing students or the best out of the students. What our platform does is brings teachers and students together, gives them a methodology, what we call is a reinforcement methodology. Using this methodology, the students are able to learn even outside of their classrooms and continue to learn what they have learned using our methodology. We bring teachers, we bring lessons learned, we bring tests, and we use this uh, a wide range of content to reinforce what they have learned in school, uh, even at home, at their own pace, in their own setting, at, uh, in their own choice of device. And I'll get more into it, how the whole thing works. But what uh, the, the, the main message here is that when students come out of the school, um, there is got to be a degree of reinforcement and, and, and you, heard such a message echoed in other presentations, presentations as well. And the reinforcement in the form of uh, another teacher led uh, uh, you know, video content plus tests plus doubt clarification sessions will phenomenally enhance a student's ability to be confident, address the challenges of fear and take on the exam boldly and, and, and get much better performance uh, for themselves and for their parents and their teachers. Getting more into the methodology. What is this, our methodology? What is it that we do differently? We enable, and now that the pandemic is almost, you know, now we're talking about the wave two, wave three, um, the, the first wave is over, students are going back to school, but do we abandon this blended learning? No, the teachers take advantage of the digital content that is available. They get to prepare ahead of time, learn at their, own, uh, at their own pace, what new technologies, how to deliver their content to their students, create this blended learning. And they go, uh, deliver this to students during a reinforcement session. And the students listen to these lectures, take a quick test, and then have doubt clarification sessions. And those test results are then fed into a data analysis of what we do, which allows us to determine what is the pace of an individual student of learning. If individual students have different paces of learning, how can we collect the data presented to a teacher where the teacher can adapt their delivery of content to the, the particular student? So uh, as I mentioned earlier, this sort of uh, broadcast model where you students go into a school, a teacher delivers a stand-up lecture, benefits students significantly, but a reinforcement learning where individual students' uh, learning pace is determined and content is delivered to suit their learning pace is much more effective reinforcing what they have learned in school. Thus, we believe our methodology supports what uh, students and, and, and teachers achieve in school and help them learn better even at home. So that's our methodology. And in terms of how do we help teachers? 
you know, in, in, in a traditional way, when I was in school in rural Tamil Nadu, uh, teachers came to a class and they taught what they, uh, what they thought they to be taught. Now today, um, when teachers go back, they feel maybe I should have described this concept better. Maybe I should have done uh, a better explanation of this portion of the chapter, right? So what our platform allows us to do, allows teachers to create content, question papers, quizzes, and help them create this content and re rehearse what they want to teach in the class, right? It gives them a platform for them to practice what they should deliver in the class. And such a recordings can be available on the platform for the students to go back and watch later too. So teachers not only take advantage of uh, the newer technology and they are now delivering better content, and the students are taking advantage of the technologies, which is delivered over a digital platform, and not just when the uh, content is delivered, even when they are at home, whether it is a mobile phone, whether it is a laptop, they can connect to the, the same portal and what was taught in the class, they're able to revise it. They're able to go back and forth, fast forward, rewind the same concept over and over. Right. So we didn't have such capabilities when we were growing up in school. We had to absorb everything in our minds and we had to go back and, and try to deliver that in the class. But today, technology enables such an ability to to um, rewind and go back and learn what we, what uh, what was taught in school. And also the teachers, uh, you know, the ability for them to create content and deliver uh, better lectures uh, to students in school. In summary, what's our strategy? We bring to a bring a platform where teachers create content, and the content gets delivered to students in their own setting, and students learn uh, what they want to learn at their own pace, and uh, their data, whatever the test results are analyzed, and their learning speed is determined and provided to teachers who can then personalize uh, who can then deliver personalized and differentiated content to students so that they all absorb it better. That's our strategy. That's what we are, uh, you know, are bringing on our platform. What does it mean for term two? So here is, here is what we are doing for term two. We are bringing experience to teachers uh, onto our platform. We are bringing specific chapters mapped to lectures. And our thinking here is uh, we focus that interactive learning session for 35 to 40 minutes or, or even up to 15 minutes. At the end of that uh, session, we give the students an opportunity, an instant quiz, right? The technology platform enables it. No longer teachers have to go take, you know, correct paperwork. This test, the student take right after that class, gives them an instant result to the students and the teachers and possibly to parents. Right, so now the results are known and you get an immediate feedback as to how each and every child uh, performed in that test. And the results are taken back into our analysis and then we are further fine tuning what the content is and how to personalize that content and deliver it to individual students. This sort of a loop continues on on a chapter by chapter and subject by su subject, thus delivering performance over a period of time. So this, again, this is a methodology that what we came up with, with by working with uh, an educational company in Bangalore, and this is proven, this works. And, and we don't say that this is the only method. Uh, we, what we do, as, we, as I mentioned earlier, we bring a platform, we give the tools, individual schools, teachers, arm them with the tools so they can create a methodology, an approach that is suitable for their own students so that they can deliver what uh, the right way of delivering content to their students. So it is not about this is the only way to do it, this is one way of doing it, and you can innovate different methodologies on our platform. We give you the tools, we help you craft the tools into a methodology and you deliver the stellar success to students. Eventually, we are, this, this is all about helping students continue to learn outside of their classroom. Reinforcement results in better performance. We, here is a, we did this for term one. We took a group of students and, and we created what we call as a rapid revision program. As you all know, for term one, we got a limited amount of time and we worked with our educational partner to, and created a rapid revision program. And this program 
um, was a series of uh, rapid revisions on chapters. And here is a testimonial from one of the parents and what they felt, they got a very good learning experience. And in the bottom line, that child was confident, right? In tackling uh, the exam, right? The, as as uh, others pointed out, the lack of time, the pressure students are in, the anxiety of exam, the fear of poor performance puts an enormous psychological burden on the students, right? And, and you know, as, as you all know, fear, we all know this, if, uh, and I've learned this in life, fear is a disease and it'll consume you. And the only way to handle fear is to face it boldly. And how do we su suggest that you face this is to constantly uh, go through a reinforcement, take the test, face the test every single day, and then prepare yourself boldly. So when the exam day arrives and you go and you deliver and you are confident that you're going to perform well. And uh, with that, um, I'll conclude my presentation. Uh, thank you all for listening to me. And you can contact us if you want to find out more about what we do and how we have done and how we can help you on these coordinates. Thank you again. Thank you, Dr. Dhanadurai. At this point, I'll stop sharing any. Uh, I'll leave it to you. Thank you, Mr. Pandey Ramalinga. Please stay with us. Uh, uh, we, now we have seen the marvel of uh, technology in reinforcing learning. He has also brought in the concept of differentiated learning, which is a very challenge, especially when you have 30, 35 students in a class to address the individual problems. So I think technology has the power of uh, attending to the in personalized learning and differentiated learning. And uh, you also talked about uh, lowering the anxiety level. Yes, the anxiety of a student always when he faces uncertainty. And uh, when he faces, there is a lack of conceptual knowledge. And uh, the day he gets enlightened on those concepts, there is a kind of a high self-esteem that, that builds up in him. Uh, since, uh, see, this is my uh, way of experience, I say, uh, my grandson can handle a mobile much better than what I can do, especially with these iPhone techniques. He can play with it very so easily they are so aligned with technology that for them to adapt a technology would not be a stress, but a, a plaything. And if learning could be fun and joy in this handsets or in on the laptop, I think that would go a long way in reinforcing learning during this recovery period. Because we are going through a recovery period, the teachers have come back to the class they will do their best in terms of strategy and uh, trying to bring out the best in the students. And uh, your recommendation that after school hours, the reinforcement exercise through a digital experience, quite obviously would not be a stress like the homework. The homework used to be a stress. Oh, today the teacher has given me a homework to write so many pages. But you ask him to work on a digital content, he is quite happy with that. So maybe, according to Mr. Paneer Ramalingam, I think the digital platform will also help us during this recovery period. 